Hello fellow swimmers and I'm going to show you quickly because it is very simple to do although looking at the manual can be a little bit daunting for some people uh, how to set up EasyDoc it's very very simple so you need to install it if you haven't already and then you need to configure your aircraft if you haven't already open it up go to the file EZCA open up the config file and configure FSX now I'm not going to do that but that is pretty much what it does uh, once that's done you then need to start up FSX which I've already got open so it doesn't matter to me as I've already got it installed anyway come into your settings now this part is probably the most important part do not skip this under any circumstance go into your controls go into your buttons and keys go to your views and once you're in your views you need to be deleting the following keys that are assigned to the keyboard key A key S shift A shift S and delete them out once they're deleted go to all events and delete any keys that are binded anything that is binded to the numbers 1 to 9 on the top of the keyboard also go through and delete anything that is related to the numpad now when I say anything things that are control or shift numpad which we've got one we've got a couple here look that doesn't matter you can leave those in if there's anything that is assigned to your arrow keys delete them also right once they're all deleted jump into a flight which I'll do now and uh, I'll see you on the flip side okay welcome back right that's all done you need to come into here video which you can have windows okay <coughs> once you're in here go to joystick configuration make sure you check that hat switch uncheck that I think it comes checked so uncheck that you'll also need to go in to your options settings controls controls axis and along here somewhere might not be this one in your joysticks there will be one under views and the one that is assigned to your hat switch you need to delete off your joystick you need to delete that out of your joystick as otherwise it will move like that and it's really really annoying so for a smooth view like this you need to go in and delete your hat switch off your joystick out of the main controls on here. Alright, once that's done, Easy Dock, Show Studio, Options, General Setting, no, Options, Define Keys and Buttons. Go through and set up what you want on there. It's entirely up to you how you do that. Right, now a good one here, because you've got rid of your numbers 1 to 9, you can now set these up as a quick shortcut. So your pilot command number 1 overhead panel you can have it as number two FMC have it as number three so when I press one that's my default look as I'm looking at the radios for some reason anyway number two overhead number three FMC and that's that to move your cameras you need to be pressing two and using your arrow keys so I'm gonna go with that press 2 on the numpad again and that will then be set in your studio so if we go back here look there we go overhead panel so at the minute I've got it set at that but if I want to change it I press 2 and maybe I want to be able to see this part of the overhead panel instead so press 2 again there we go so now when we come between the two it's all set and that is pretty much it for aircraft again you do it how you like it's entirely up to you just scroll through these you can delete cameras out you can add cameras in right click add camera I don't know radios so n number two on the numpad down go left a little bit and page up and page down if they're binded to anything make sure you delete those out because you're going to need that there we go press 2 and that is radio saved so we can go through these now and we're there and that is a quick guide to setting up easy dock very simple 
and it makes looking at a manual far easier than uh, sorry it makes watching this video far easier than looking through a manual and working out how to do it all hope this has been helpful if it has hit a like hit a comment and thanks very much for watching